Hi friends, welcome to World of Braiding and Extensions. My name is Joy Fido and today I'm bringing something exciting to you. Something really exciting. Welcome on board. So you can see here we got the mannequin which I'm working on already. Um, Conroe already nearly done which I'll show you again. Just You watch my hand movement carrying on with Conroe's. So the plan is we are going to do crochet on this hair. But what type of crochet? That's the exciting part. It's going to be the locks. So recently we've been doing quite a bit on locks. We did the Brazilian wool, which was done in locks form. And so you have choices. And this is one of our favorite choice. You know our brand, Bundles of Joy. Um, but what's coming out now is ready, ready to wear locks. Now what's the beauty about this is the weight is really light, so there's nothing that's heavy in here. The locks is already done. So all you're going to do is just crochet it on the head. And so that's what we're coming here to show you. So I'll show how we crochet this and then the plan is you can order this and start doing it on your head or your client's head. So that is the big picture coming today. Okay so once you're creating your cornrow remember to hold your strands really firmly. Um, this is on the training head so the hair usually um, this is a brand new hair so it's still a bit difficult to handle but just hold it really firmly that's that's the only way you can handle brand new hairs <clears throat> because we do sell these training heads um, and most students struggle to know what to do when they are working with it. So spray it with the water, hold it firmly, and you can do your cornrow. Um, with the cornrow, I'm not doing anything fancy. You just center parting five strands of cornrow on each side of the head, and that's it. Remember, when you're creating your crochet, your cornrow, your choice. Whichever way you would think it's okay for you to create a cornrow, go with it. Um, sometimes, especially with clients, what I tend to do is I go with the cornrow left, right, left, right, quarter of the ear like that, and then I go from front down. The reason for that is so the hair is not stuck underneath her you know like at the back of the head so that's why i do that but you can still see with this what i've done in setting so that's the strand of conroe and i'm going to show you what i do with it in order to achieve this again we've done videos where that is done but just for the sake of it so you carry on a little bit towards the back you can see where i carry this on you lift the strand of hair Lift it and put it in your finger. See that? Just straight into the finger. So then you hold it down. And that's the strand of hair. So now what I do is I release it so it's not too thick in my hand. Put it into my finger and then carry on with my breathing. Again, hold really firmly. This you can also use when you're doing a full head of weaves. We use this technique as well. See that? So then you carry on with your coral. So you see why we achieved that. Okay, so you can see what we've done. This is the look. Um, remember when you want to wear locks, <clears throat> you're usually interested in a rough look you don't want it too smooth and that's what you're getting with this hair so how do you go about this 
it comes with a little bit of a hole in there and so you put your crochet into it once that goes in then you go with the hair you want to use and then you try and insert all of that into the crochet once it's gone in you close it make sure everything goes in before you close and then you're pulling it through the hole once it goes into the hole take it out take your hand and pull it all out all out and then you turn that and pull through then lock and push it really in so then that's your locked hair that's there now sometimes based on how you were pulling it through okay so based on how you pulled it through it might get really rough and sometimes it gets all twisted what you do is just straighten it and when you do that they get back to their shape and that's it so the fullness of your head would depend on how many bags of hair you, you use so far we've used two bags we're on to the third bag and generally for me when I'm doing hairs like this I don't put too much pressure at the back is the front that will take more of the hair so it covers it Okay, so you can see the look we've got so far what we decided to do was take two colors that are completely contrasting so red and blonde so you can really see the difference again you could you could slowly take colors that are connected <coughs> but it's like entirely your choice and you know the thing where just think if you were wearing braids there should be there should be scalp showing sometimes so you don't have to block off everything let it flow let it cover let it be free and this was a person she could push some away from her face and that's it so you can see how much work has been done here the sides back view now I'm leaving just a little bit of a section on the side the side parting <clears throat> this is all down to you what next happens you could decide to add more hair or not put any more is entirely up to you um, some people don't like too much hair on their head and some people don't mind how full it is so knot it off and lock and then remember you just stretch it out so it stays all firm and straight and if it's still rough you just stretch it and stretch it and that's it and then again in there pick your hair take it in close pull through when you're pulling through just be a bit patient with yourself so you don't allow it to get too rough and then you stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out So I'm going to put one more here and then I'll put one more here and that's it, done. 
okay guys so that's been it um we hope you learned something new in this video today um it's about this hair and what you can do with it pre-locked hair thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe um give us a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, we hope to see you in our next video so again once you finish you can decide to take it backwards pull through let it drop and let your client do what they like to do with their hair normally some people like hair in their face some like it at the back it's entirely up to the client what they want to do so again we worked with the doll so that it's easy for you to practice this before you actually try it on a person <laughs> our dolls having a field day but hold on um okay so that's it you can see how beautiful this is colorful you can put as many colors as you like i have clients who love different colors and sometimes they like their hair in so many colors but look at the contrasting effect of this it's really beautiful so again we have this hair in stock if you wanted to try this on um we'll put a link on this video below so you can always click there and order your hair and thank you and share this with your friends and we look forward to seeing you in the next video take care for now bye